Alabama fans, it's an even happier Easter as they continue to celebrate history in men's basketball following that 89-82 win over Clemson in the Elite Eight last night. For more on this team's journey, we'll send it to sports director Rosie Langello, who was able to talk with just about everyone during postgame celebrations. Davis, the Alabama Crimson Tide men's basketball team is still dancing. This team making history the first Final Four appearance in program history. And what a game it was against Clemson. Bama down by 13 in the first half, but they battled back to take a two point lead at halftime. And from there, huge contributions from Mark Sears, Jaron Stevenson, and Nick Pringle. Uh, just next shot. I mean, I had, I had two air balls in the game. I just, I just focused on the next shot. I knew practice would pay off. And yeah, just sticking to my form, sticking with everything. I feel like that just paid off. During the first half there, I think you guys were down like 13. You come back. What was kind of, what worked for you guys there to come back? Uh, we knew when everything was on the line, the season being on the line, the Final Four being on the line, you know, we knew that we're not done. We're not going to let a 13-point lead uh, defeat us early on in this game. Just being ready in the right moments, you know, being in the right spots um it's amazing man you know you never know who nice is going to be uh like man i'm in love with this team man i mean it's just you look around you just you never know who's going to go off who's going to pop off coach saban i'm a big football fan i came to alabama loving the fact that i was going to be able to work in the same athletic department as arguably the best maybe not even the best football coach the best coach of any team sports in modern history never bothered me i love the fact we're football school and I we're going to try to add another sport to the championship school level because I think we're we're not going on the door there. So Alabama has a date with the defending national champs in the final four, the Yukon Huskies. Their head coach, Danny Hurley. Nate Oates knows the Hurleys pretty well. He coached with Bobby Hurley, Danny's brother, at Buffalo. So these guys know each other. The coaching world is pretty small. It'll be an insane matchup coming up on Saturday in Phoenix, Arizona. Hey, we have a lot more from inside the locker room. We were there after the win. The guys were so excited. We're going to bring you all of that coming up at 10 o'clock and in Sports Extra. I'm Rosie. Langello for WSFA 12 Sports, Los Angeles.